We're now going to scale down its size a little bit. And we're going to make a copy and place it inside of our lava lamp and scale its size down so it fits in there quite nicely. Now what we want to do at this point is start making copies of our meta ball in various sizes. I'm going to make about seven copies and move them using the overhead and side views to their starting positions within the lava lamp. You'll notice that each meta ball has physical attributes already assigned since I'm copying from a meta ball where I had previously assigned physical attributes. I'm also changing the size of some of the copies to keep things more realistic looking. A neat thing too is you can see the meta ball copies interacting with each other giving the look of our lava lamp goop flowing into itself. That looks pretty good. Now just a few last tweaks to size and position before moving on. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one meta ball sphere out here in the open since we don't need it. Now let's work on our isolated environment. We're going to select our environment and we're going to give it an attribute of water stream. Right click on its properties and change the stream to cyclone and the speed to 9. Cyclone will cause the meta balls to rotate within the lava lamp. Okay, let's get everything back where they should be. Okay, let's start our simulation. If you play back the animation, you'll notice that the spheres move very quickly. This is actually OK. To save simulation time, we've sped up the whole process. But since TrueSpace creates keyframes, we can go into the scene editor and adjust the length of our animation. One of the great things about physical simulation is that you can edit your results yourself afterward using all the conventional keyframe or function curve techniques you normally use in TrueSpace so that you can redefine your animation to precisely how you want it. By stretching out the animation, we can make the meta balls move more slowly in our animation. That looks a little better. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit more.
in the left wing is what he used to do. He would get around 50 yards a game. There. Now that looks more like what I expect to see in a lava lamp. We've already done the hardest part, or True Space has, and we're only left with getting the final texturing and lighting for the lamp in our next chapter to get our finished animation.